Hello, everybody. Should be coming on, I think. All right. I am going to, <laughs> I have my stream up because um, normally I'm fiddling around and it's showing me an ad on my own. YouTube is so funny. All right. Now I can't eat is the chat. Where's the chat? There it is. I thought I was ready. <laughs> All right. I apologize. I have my uh, laundry going right behind me. And there's like people riding around their um, OHVs and four wheelers. So hopefully it won't be too distracting. But today we are going to use some transfer me sheets from uh, Dress My Craft. She sent these to me quite a while ago. I haven't really been creating too, too much. And the other day, about a week ago, I decided that I was going to try one out because I think it was for, what was it for? Uh, I forget what it was for, but I uh, tried one out and I just was, I, I love them. So, I'm just going to show you real quick because my project is def is probably not going to take an hour. It was so easy. So I created this the other day and um, something super simple. I am really trying to focus on more uh, simpler things, not having so much stress on myself and using what I have and that might be using a lot of the same things over and over, but it just goes to show you that you don't need a million things to create things. You just need some of your favorites and you can create many, many different things with just a few things. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for being here. All right, so I am going to show you just a few. They come in these sheets. So I have these butterflies, which I'm going to use today. And then I have the sheet here. It's all cut up, so um, there's so many different ones. And I have like these borders and these really large flowers. Um, these doilies, these. And then a lot, I have lots of Christmas ones she sent me. Let's see. Sorry for the glare. Let me see. There, a little bit better. There's one sheet per package. Yes, one sheet per package. And then this one goes with the uh, pink smoke collection, one of my favorites. Um, I have lots more, but I'm not going to sit here and show you all of them. Uh, I did cut out the ones that I'm going to be using today, and I'm just going to create a simple art journal page. Uh, let's see. So I have this page here from a Joggles disc bound journal that I took out. I already cut out these butterflies. So what I did, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, it's really, really simple. I can find one. Okay, so all right, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna cut out one of these butterflies. And I like to leave a little bit of space if I can. And then what I have done is I take out or take off the protective layer on top. Then you need a little bit of water. Then you just dip it in just like this and then it'll kind of curl up just like that. You don't want it to stick to itself. 
Um, I had one stick to the bottom because I just left it in there uh, upside down and it was a pain to get off. So trial and error. But, all right. So I like to hold it and then I don't have any more paper. Of course, I'm unprepared. I'm just getting a piece of paper. Okay. I would uh, use thicker paper. This is just some like 60 pound, 60 weight or something. But then you just stick it on to your paper like this. Then you need some sort of like wet washcloth. I'm just using a paper towel. Then you just dab the back of it. And then it'll move when it's ready to be taken off. And then it should just slide. Yep. And then you just slide it off. You don't you slide. You don't want to you don't want to pull it up like this because uh, that will result in tears. And then you have this. And then I just cut out the butterflies. And if you want them colored, you are going to need to color them first. Uh, but I want mine white, so there's that. So we are going to get going here. All right, so I have my journal page. I'm going to use a little bit of, just want a little bit of color in the background. So I'm just gonna spray my page here with a little bit of water. And I'm gonna take some Lindy's and I'm gonna use the Stormy Sky is one of my favorites. And I'm going to take a water brush and just barely dip in and I'm going to, oh no, I can't use that. Just create a, like a watercolor right here. Hello everybody, thank you for joining. If you're just watching, be sure to say hi in the chat. I'd love to chat with you. I can't read the chat too much. All right. So for this one, what I'm going to do is do it this way instead of this way. So I want the color to be more in the center here. And I'm just going to dab, dab, dab just a little bit. And then just add a little bit of color or water here. Just like this. And then I'm going to dab a little bit of that color up because I don't like the harsh lines. So. Here we go. So many people here, yay, thank you. Hello, Michelle, hi, Christy, hi, Christine. Hi, Sky Blue, Moitza, Carrie, Tiffany, hello. I'm just going to just get a simple background here. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> I'm going to be done in seriously like five minutes. It's so simple. I guess I should have done something a little bit more involved, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to use my heat tool just in case you are using headphones. I'm giving you fair warning.
All right. Now we got the color. And I'm going to take this, make sure I'm going to cut around um, uh, really close because I don't want, there's a film. It's kind of, they're basically like rub ons, but a, just a, a little bit different. It's hard to explain. So I'm just going to cut around. Please take longer. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Christine. I have to go grocery shopping too. My grocery stores are an hour away, so. All right. It's cutting pretty close. I will fill the hour no matter what. I don't know what I'll do after, but uh, yeah, because I believe Karen is next. I don't know if I know what she's making or not. And you want to add your color first. Uh, you don't want to add any like paste or anything. I don't know how they would work um, on top of paste or like crackle paste or anything. But I know that they work on top of watercolor. So if you wait to, to color your project, then you're going to get this uh, I don't know, you might be able to see it, but this area around where the image is, because it's like a film, you won't be able to get color close to the, pro the, the image. So. All right, almost done, you guys. Besides the cutting, it's so simple. You can make super quick cards, uh, use them on whatever, home decor, all sorts of different things. All right. All right, so now we have this, okay? So what I'm gonna do, again, I'm going to take the plastic layer on top off, and I wanna make sure that I'm not uh, holding any areas where there is image, because I don't want it to get ruined, although, okay, here we go. And then I'm going to place it directly in the water just like this going to curl up a bit. Want to make sure, oh no, did it just curl on itself? Oh, there you go. I saved it. <laughs> All right. I'm curious to see what this is going to do because there's so much water on it. What it's going to do when I put it on top of the watercolor area. And we have this. A little crooked, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of water on the paper towel and just dab the back, and then it'll slightly move when it's ready to, and then you just, oh wow, it cuts. So the color, it just blended right in. I don't know if I like that too much, but that's okay. Of 
we're going with it. Obviously, we're it's there. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just gonna add a little bit of splatters. Okay, I am going to use my heat tool on the back of it just to let it to get it dry. Um, I don't know how the heat tool reacts to the heat gun. So you do want to be careful if you use a heat gun with them. So I guess I should have known that that was going to happen because I was surprised on this one. I had stamped this like stitched stamp from Tim Holtz and then I placed the transfers on top and the stamped part, the stamped image showed up over on top like I had stamped it after. Does that make sense? Yeah, these are interesting. I do, I love them. They are, I mean, the images are so beautiful and detailed. Then I had another, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I have another little flower here that I wanted to cut out and maybe put somewhere. Let's see. If it won't go anywhere, maybe here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this flower there. Just gonna dip it in the water. Okay, and then going to add this one right here, um, paper towel. And then just Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> All right. And I like this little pop of red here. So I think I might add that just to give it a little bit of something else. I mean, I thought of this simple process or simple page right before I was going to bed and it took me less than 30 minutes. And uh, I know that if you guys get these, you guys will come up with some more, even more amazing things to do with them. I think I'm gonna add this one. Here. Where should I put it? You know what, I think I lied. I think I'm just gonna put it on this page and, cause I don't have anything to balance it out on the other side. So, hi Penny. I'm just going to use this and all right. All right, so we have these butterflies now that are going to pop on the page. And I like three butterflies. Three is a good number. Okay, 
Maybe I should do small in the center and then the larger ones on the sides. like this. So simple. I mean, obviously, this is probably one of the most simple pages I've ever made. But it just goes to show you that you don't need to take so much time and simple to, to me feels more relaxing than stressing over, you know, doing a bunch of different layers and textures and, you know, all sorts of different things. It doesn't have to be so complicated all the time, especially when, when you're creating to enjoy yourself and just um, relax. Simpler is better. Okay, now let's find a little quote. I'm going to do this one. Be awesome today. You guys are awesome all the time. So go be awesome today. A little card with some transfers I received from Chanel. Who's a goodie. I was wondering and how I use any of my mixed media art. Now I know, thanks. Aw, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I mean, this one was a little bit more involved. I did a little bit of uh, stenciling in the back and things like that, but I mean, it's just simple, super simple. I feel the more I was stressing about everything being perfect all the time and using, you know, all these new products all the time, I felt very, I felt more stressed than I should be, you know, because creating should be fun and you should enjoy the process. So, all right, I'm just going to, of course, I got to add some white splatters. So I'm going to use my gloss spray. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna see, cause I don't know where my um, glaze is. Simple, reduce it. Yes, exactly. And I don't know if you guys saw the video recently that I uh, did a collaboration with with Karen and Ingrid. We use things around from around the house, and they used. I know uh, Ingrid used leaves and different things. I think. The less we think, the better. Uh, thanks, Nellie. Whoops. All right, I don't know what else to do on here anyways. <laughs> it's so simple. Okay, and again, here's this one. I have 35 minutes left. So there's those. Let's see, what else can I do? I don't have anything else prepared. 
Oh my gosh. If you guys haven't seen their videos, you have to go check them out because they are amazing. And make sure you follow the, um, the end screen. The videos we pitched to are in the end screen. Um, my paper towel. It's all right. Yes, Ingrid's um, was amazing. All right. Let's see. Um, I guess I can show you. No, I don't know where it is. I don't know where anything is. My desk is a mess. My room is a mess again. Um, hmm. I have no idea, but I guess, I guess we can make another page or another something here. Let me see what I got here. Yes, I can use one of these tags and just create something else. Thank you. Go wild. <laughs> yeah. Crafters gone wild. So I'm cutting again pretty close. You can definitely take your time and cut it a little bit better if you wanted to. Anybody creating anything, crafting today? What are you guys up to today? All right, if you're just joining, I saw a spike in people coming in. I would love, if it, love it if you said hi in the chat, gave the video a thumbs up. Making a gift for a friend. Oh, that's awesome, Carla. Awesome, awesome. Hello. Yay. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to take the top off again. Okay. So many members here today. Yay. Thank you, guys. Uh-oh. You don't want it to fold on itself because then it'll stick to itself. And that would be bad. All right. Ooh, gel plates. Freshly clean. Nice. All right. So this one, I am going to turn it around. Or let me see. Yeah, I want it like this in the center here. Push it down. Water slide papers. Uh, I'm guessing yes, because uh, what you do is you stick them in water and then you take a little 
damp cloth or in my case a paper towel and dab the back of it and then you slide it off. You don't pull it off. Um, yeah, see, as soon like it'll start sliding. Just like that. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. And you guys know I absolutely love floral clusters. I love stamping out and um, stamping out flowers and coloring them and using them. Oh, I'm so sorry, Oriana. You're having a hard day. All right. Let's get that butterfly. No, I don't want it in that. Um, let's get a different butterfly, a bigger butterfly. Let's get like this one. These are so cool, um, how they work. And Hello, Wendy. All right, again, I'm just gonna pop it on the paper. And just dab the back here. And you can kind of feel it nudge itself away from the, you can feel the image nudging itself away from the back paper. And, oh, I ripped this one too soon. Let's see if I can put it back. So I'm just gonna slide the wing, got disconnected from the other part. So I just slid it back and then I'm adding extra water on this little part so that it, it will slide off hopefully pretty easy. Yep, there we go. Pretty simple to fix as well. Try, ooh, yes. I forgot I should have done color first. You know what, we have time. So let's just go for it. Gotta get off my feet. See them off my feet. All right, I'm actually gonna use something a little like this. And then I have, this has wild rose. I'm gonna see this one. Let's see. Wild rose rouge. I think that um, matches pretty well. I don't know why my camera is like so washed out. All the colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of this. This is from the uh, Flat Magicals Mountain Meadows set. Ooh, this color is so pretty. Okay, and I'm just going to color just a little bit on this paper here. My goodness, there's 86 people watching. I'm not even doing anything exciting. <laughs> All right. It is actually a really pretty color. I haven't used this color. I've only used the blue from this one. Um, it's actually really, really pretty.
Oh my gosh, you're so right, Penny. I don't even know how long. It's been many years, many, many years. I think probably when I even first started, like 10 years ago. Okay, I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to take the sheet and uh, let's see, how does it go? Is it not for that one? Hmm. I'm trying to find the plastic sheet so I can cover that up. That's okay. We'll just go with it. That doesn't go on that one, but. Because I think I want to add a little bit of splatters. He what? I know he's 14 now. Um, it's crazy. All right. Some splatters and I'm using the sheet the plastic sheet to cover the image up. Not that it really matters because I think it would resist it anyways, but I don't want to get too much uh, on there. Yeah, when I started, my son was about two, when I started crafting anyways. Um, Yeah, he's 14 now. It's crazy. All right, so we're just going to lift this up, and then you have some nice splatters all the way around. Am I frozen? What is going on here? Oh no, I froze on my screen because my mother called me. Okay, so now let's get another butterfly. And I'm gonna take this one here. Almost cut off my hair. All right. Okay, so here we go. Thank you, Sharon. If you haven't done so already, if you're enjoying this, be sure to give it a thumbs up, the video a thumbs up. Okay, I don't know how these are gonna react to on, on this paper, but we'll see. There we go. And take the paper towel and just dab, dab, dab. Let's see if it's ready. Oh, look what it did. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to heat this real quick. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> That's so right, Liz. Hi, Andy. Okay, now I'm gonna just cut it out. I don't know if I want this bright butterfly. If not, then I'll cut out one of the ones that doesn't have color. Yes, it does remain shiny. There's like a sheen to it. It's not very matte. Okay. Let's just do it. Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to cut around these antennas. There we go. I almost pulled them off. Okay. I think it might be a little too bright. So. Let me go with a different butterfly here. All right. So has anybody used these before? These transfer me sheets? You can get them at scrapbook.com and there is tons more coming in. Uh, they're so pretty. They lose you guys, you guys still there? <laughs> You can use these, I've seen, I don't know if Shalini has a design, I'm pretty sure she probably has a design team, but I know like I've seen on Instagram people using them for home decor, uh, all sorts of different things. So there's so many possibilities. These are from Dress My Craft. Okay, almost done, you guys. Probably should have thought of, about a more involved, a little bit more involved project, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, and we have a cute little butterfly. Uh, rub ons. I don't remember. But I'm loving rub ons and these transfer sheets. So much fun. Okay. Here's this. I'm going to add, of course, some white splatters, but I want to cover this up. Okay. Splatter, splatter, splatter. All right. 
And it is that simple. I mean, think of this as a super quick card to send if you don't have one. Whoops. Do you use your tags to give away as gifts or other reasons? Um, I just, I don't really use them for anything in particular. I just, I just create them because they're fun. <laughs> um, like these ones, I thought these ones from, was it last week? Yeah, these ones were from last week. I thought about doing a giveaway or something on Instagram just for fun or something. I don't know. Those ones are more simple, but you can, you know, give them as a card instead of a card, like in place of a card. You can stick them on top of a card base and then it kind of turns into a card. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm just gonna add a little quote here. Be you bravely. I like that one. I'm going to put this closer to me. And I'm going to stick it on top right here. Just like that. Uh, don't know if they ship to Poland. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure, especially right now, because I know some countries have limitations on shipping and all of that. Um, but I'm sure if you get in contact with, yeah, you can order directly from India. They have a store, maybe Kara knows it. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, but yeah, okay, so I have these tags that I was using or creating the other day when I was making a video and they are just sitting here. So I'm going to take one, let's see. I don't know what to do with tags that are like 20 for Christmas from Crafty Friends. I put a couple in my journal, but I really don't want to. Yeah. Um. All right, so there's this page here, and I'm going to use, I think, these two. Oh, it is Dress My Craft, the website. Okay, I'm going to cut around. And the good thing is, with these, you can cut whatever you want out, like here. I'll just use that one, and then, and then this can be the start of really cool mixed media tags or something. Okay, that's too big. So I need to cut a little bit off here. Oh, I didn't even realize what time it was, but I'm glad I wasn't over or anything. Okay. Seems decent. Okay, I found, I remembered where. I was taking a photo yesterday and my glaze because I want to make sure with the stains, they react to water super quick. So, can you layer anything on top of them with all that shiny surface? Um, you can't add like, uh, watercolor or anything to them.
But I know Karen had mentioned the other day that if you maybe stick a layer of gesso, like clear gesso on top, you can color and stuff on top of it. Okay, so this stuff is the microglaze and I'm just creating a barrier between the color and the water that I'm gonna stick. We'll see how actually thinking about it, I don't know if this is a good idea because curious to see if the transfer will stick on this glaze, it's kind of oily, kind of a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna see. I have time. Why not? Okay, I think this one goes better with this one because it's a little bit more rugged looking, and this is very distressed. I saw a channel where she made microglaze using petroleum gel and alcohol. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so, and these do actually have a little scent to them. I just noticed, not it's not horrible, but there is a scent on them because I know I wanted to mention uh, because so many people are very sensitive to smells. So, all right, we're going to see how this is going to work, if it will work. Yes, Heidi, you missed it. I made an art journal page. Now we're moving on to some quick tags. Whoops, I don't want that. What a truth, no. It's wanting to go with the paper. So I'm gonna add more water here. There we go. Oh no. Okay, okay. It's okay. There we go. Oh, I did it upside down and crooked, but it still looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really cool, actually. All right. Now we're going to take... That looks way cool. All right, I can use that for something really, really cool. All right. Now we're going to take the butterfly and do the same thing on this one. Just cut the tags. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I could I could use my sewing machine and sew them together. Kind of get that look. That's a good idea. Thanks, Terry. All right. And this one right to the center. <laughs> yeah. Reset. Yep. All right. You guys, do you think I should cut the top and just, you know, make my own tag? <laughs> Everybody was thinking the same thing. That's so funny. All right. I'm going to slowly. There we go. Perfect. I love it. I should have cut around a little bit better because the sheen of it, but it's okay. Still looks really cool. All 
All right. Even if you aren't planning on getting these today or getting um, the transfers that I use today, I hope I inspired you in some way. If I did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do for this one is cut it and then like kind of sew it together or something. The man looks like a man with the afro. Hmm? This one? This way. Hmm, not seeing it, Nelly. <laughs> but that's okay. It's kind of like when you're outside and you're looking at the clouds and, you know, I do this a lot with my kids. What do you see? And then my Abby will say a cat. Mateo will say something else. Oh, that's a good idea, Kim. I wonder if they would work for crafting. Okay, Michelle. Michelle sees it. <laughs> I'm far away. Okay. This way or this way? What way? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I, I kind of see it. Yep. Had to look at it from a different angle. Sometimes that's all you have to do. It's good advice for a lot of different things. <laughs> I deceive figures in Tiffany's paint swatches. <laughs> Sometimes you got to take a step back, look at it from a different angle, perspective, right? All right, so had fun today. Definitely relaxing. So this is a, a page that I created the other day. Then this one was the one we created today. Very simple again. And then these. Did I do something else? I feel like I did something else. I don't think I did. Oh, I did do. Yes, there was another tag somewhere. Yep. And this one. Did a lot today. See? Less, I mean, I could have had all of this pumped out in like 30 minutes. Okay, yes, yeah, send it to me, Nelly. Here, like this. Like this. Thank you guys for being here. It's Karen's turn. She posted a link because I forgot to post a link to her <laughs> channel below. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I truly appreciate you guys. I am um, so grateful for all of you. If you haven't done so already, give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys over on Karen's stream. Thank you guys. Bye.